Hello, everybody. It is I, Granorite, and here we are back with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald with our Gen 3 type challenge of Ground type. We are here at Fall Arbor Town, and we're gonna buy some stuff really quick. And sell some stuff on that matter, too. Got a bunch of Pokeballs. We got a bunch of battle items that we don't need. And we're going to buy Super Repels. And Super Potions. Alright, let's get into our bag and pop those up top. Alright. Now we're going to run over here and we're going to get Dig. We're going to teach Dig to Sand Shrew. Or Sand Slash, sorry. So it knows a damaging uh, ground attack. Alright. Now we're going to make our way down to... Um, what is this? Uh, Meteor Falls? Yeah. We'll see if we get all the way to um, uh, Plannery this episode. We, we still need to get our team up to level 29. A little magnitude. Didn't quite level up. Oh, we'll get roar from this guy. All right, fisherman and a picnicker. Got a barboach and a nuzleaf. Secret power. Water gun is a good move to use on Swinub. Good level up, Swine Up. Alright, excellent. That's not what I wanted to do, I wanted to swap you. Just knock down this magic carp. And we're gonna swap and do our barboach versus this barboach.
good magnitude. Not quite enough to take it down, but close. To uh, Dark Trio for this Goldine. Good deal. Swine up up. Remember, Swine up is our slowest leveler on the team, so we do have to show the most experience into Swine up. But it'll be worth it once we get that pile of swine. Oh, we missed the tackle. Not good. We need to hit this thing three more times, Swine Up, and not let that rollout power up too much. Oh, and it just misses. Well, that's good. All right, we got a Lombre coming out. Ideally, I would take it out with Barboach, but I don't know if Barboach is going to be able to. If it knows Absorb, we're going to be in a bad spot. Fight is not a good magnitude. Second lowest. Uses nature power, okay. Swift! Big magnitude. Six is bigger than five, but it's still not I it's below average. Okay, well growl's not horrible. We were looking like higher than a seven is what we want. Okay, well eight is higher than a seven. I got what I wanted. And the reason we really wanted Barboach to take on this Lombre is because we want special defense stat on Barboach. Oh, I got a potion in here. We'll use that on Swina before this next fight. We're also going to use this repel. Roselia and Graveler. Okay, so we really need to take down both of these pretty quick. Um, but I think that the Roselia is a bigger threat to us. Alright, well we definitely take down the Roselia. Do we also get the Graveler? It doesn't have high special defense. We do. Excellent. Sand Slash for this next fight because it's a get to Sand True and we might as well show it it's Big Brother. Big Brother! Yes, he's in my eyes. Does leave coming out next. It gives speed. We'll send out the trio.
Sick of power. Oh, it hung on with barely any health left, but it still hung on. Let's finish it off with a mud slap. Swap a Graveler. <laughs> that line is from Dr. LeQuack from Courage Cowardly Dog. It always comes into my head when I see that. <laughs> That's a good magnitude. Next trainer here, Slugma and Wingle. Good deal. Wingle. We're going to send out them trio. Get that trio, trio, trio. Hey Valerie, how's it going? Welcome to the stream today. Good to see you again. You set my spirit on fire. Have I made my Pokemon evolve very much? You're going to fight the two unevolved Pokemon of the team, girly. Geodude and Lombre. All right, we need to take out that Lombre. That is the that is the dangerous one of this fight. No, I said you wouldn't be here, but you got sick, so you have the day off. Oh, I'm sorry that you're sick. I'm glad that you're here, uh, but I'm sorry that you're not feeling well. Good tackle. So that turns to rock slide. Okay, well that's gonna do not very effective and then normal damage. Mud Sport doesn't get to do anything to it in this fight. So you go right ahead and throw that mud around, Geo dude. Um let's Do I do another magnitude? I think I just water gun tackle. I don't want to damage Swine up too much. Um, Numal. Okay, the growl's not too bad. Let's just do a powder snow. That'll for sure hit the Lombre. some snores or sleepy fish that's what I heard about a bit I did say a bit Schnaw. so remember when we use rest we sleep for two turns 
It's a sleepy fish. It is a sleepy fish. And we're going to keep that sleep for it through the entire playthrough. It's always going to have rest. It's going to be a good wall Pokemon when it gets Wish Cash. Evolves in the Wish Cash, that is. Alright, let's swap to Slash. Yodaleihu. I wonder why it doesn't echo here. He says it doesn't echo here. That's odd. Alright, we got Geodude code out. There's our Sand Slash. Hey, <laughs> Yodaleihu. <laughs> Good job. We're going to dig, dig, dig a tunnel. Oh, it got us with a magnitude while we were underground. That hits us. I think it does double damage to us, too. Does it echo in the chat space? Absolutely. Macho. Slash. Is worn off. We'll hop into our bag and spray a super repel. You know, one of the quality of life changes they did make in the later games is when your repel runs out, it just asks you if you want to spray another one immediately. That's really nice. Team Aqua and Team Magma shouting at each other, and then they're just going to leave. What are they doing at Mount Chimney? I have no idea. Not even the slightest. I got more trainers I need to take on down here, so that's more important. that the chop uses focus energy okay okay slash again down it goes we have defeated black belt knob you impress me give me another chance uh is barboach leveled up to 28 Yes, I have. Okay. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Let's put up the trio in this next fight with Schweinub. It's fine. I have a rare Pokemon. Oh, really? Alright, we got a Zangoose and a Metatite. This <laughs> is Piper guy. Well then, that's right. Uh, so we're gonna target down the Metatite because... Oh, it uses Detect because it's the most dangerous to swine up. We get Quick Attack by the Zangoose. Secret Power is not gonna hit anything. At least we'll get a little Powder Snow on the Zangoose. Get out of here. It's 
boink. Okay, now that's dangerous. That <laughs> that Pokemon now has to go. <laughs> You've used a move that has decided that it is time for your deletion. The Viper. So you were correct. It is a survivor guy. Uh, secret power. I probably could have just. Oh no, because survivor survived. So it's a good thing I did use Powder Snow. So it'll help both of them. What did Spoink do on its last turn? Haha! <laughs> Frozen! Oh, and the defrosted, so literally did nothing. It just splashed. It doesn't do nothing when you splash. Still no level up on Swina. We were really kind of banking on that. I mean, it's not banking on it, but it would have been nice. Um, another trainer up here. Let's. Oh no, you you're gonna have a fighting type Pokemon. I don't want to throw Swine about against that. Freezing a Pokemon is not as strong as it was in Gen One. That is correct, Christian Bond. How are you doing, friend? Thanks for hopping in the chat. Good. To see you. <coughs> oh my goodness, what am I gonna do with so many active chatters? <laughs> Makuhita! Uh, let's send out Sand Slash. I'm glad that you are doing well. I am also doing well. I have I have gotten over my cold and I'm feeling back to 100 percent so that is exciting. a heart scale here um can I, I can't make it back through there i want to get back to fall arbor town now to see something but i don't think i can easily get back through here oh i can Ignore the random battles. See yeah, a viper. This is the first time that we've ever had a, a want to want to do this. Uh, it must be in here. Hi! No, you're just Professor Cosmo thing. That's not what I want then. Is it you? Dove Trio, can you learn? Yaha! So, okay. So, Doug Trio <laughs> shows on its Pokedex that it can learn Tri Attack. Um, so, but it doesn't learn it when it evolves. But I wanted it to learn Tri Attack because it's better than the other. So, just a sec. Um, 
I want to check and see what these other Pokemon can learn. Let's grab one. What can grab one learn? No. Okay. So we are going to teach Duck Trio um, Try Attack. In place of secret power. Excellent. I'm so glad that worked. Let's put one power up, try and take. You hate try attack? Why? It's such a good move. Can either burn, paralyze, or freeze? Oh, so good. 80 base power. You had about 200 tri attack uh, TMs from Sword and Shield and. <laughs> Barely anything learns it. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not the case here. We have so many try attack. Or we have our try attack. Try attack and the trio. All right. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. All right, so we're just gonna go to Mount Chimney this way instead of what we usually do, which is to go back around. So maybe that's how, so there there are a couple moves that are um, signature moves in this game that you can't get in their normal move set, specifically Kinesis on Kadabra. And that might be how we have to do it is with a heart scale. Because per my rules, if it has a signature attack, we need to know it. And um, Kinesis is Kadabra's signature attack. We're going to be seeing a little uh, extra barboach here because there's a bunch of numerals that I don't... You know, I gotta put my special attack somewhere, and it ain't going on Trio Graveler or uh, Sand Slash. Bata Gun! If you ever use Zygarde, which effect would you pick? I don't know, I've actually never used Zygarde. What an awesome signature attack for Alakazam. That's right, but I'll bend that spoon and make you lose accuracy. Absolutely. Which move would I pick? Or I, I mean, I don't know. I'm learning takedown. What was I say? What am I doing here? Uh, we need, we can get rid of Odor Sleuth. I mean, I don't know. I've never I've never used Zygarde. I have no idea what those things even do. So it just psychic and sand attack. I yeah, that is correct, except I think Kinesis is actually worse than sand attack because I don't think it even has 100% accuracy. It has 88% accuracy. You're right.
So it is worse than Sand Attack, but it is its signature move. So that's going to be, like, there's a couple really bad signature moves that we will have to know on our Pokemon. Um, Kinesis is one. Barrage is another. We will have to have Barrage on our Execute and Executor for the entire game, even though it is so bad. Um, another one that we will have to keep that's really bad is um, Spiderweb on Ariados because um, Spiderweb all it does is keep it from switching. That's right, Barrage. <laughs> it's pretty funny, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, it a good joke. It's a good one. <laughs> You thought that was pretty funny, Rashidabon? I mean, you, you uh, really, really liked that one, didn't you? <laughs> Now, Porygon, uh, Porygon 2, we had, what's this, three different ones for Porygon, and then it reduces to two, uh, for Pori. I don't know why it reduces to two for Porygon 2, but Conversion and Conversion 2, um, are what we can choose for, uh, Porygon, and we'll probably go for Conversion 2, which is the one that changes you to a type that's resistant to the last move used against you, or of the Pokemon's main type, or something like that. Um, where is my gravel? I'll teach you for meddling with us, you little boy. There is a... If you go on Bulbapedia, I don't know if you all use Bulbapedia much, but if you go into Bulbapedia and search for signature moves, there is actually a list um, that listed by generation for all Pokemon that have signature attacks. Uh, would you class stuff like Blaze Kick, Muddy Water, and Leaf Blade as signature for the starters? Uh, it, it's all on that list. If, if if I go to the signature move list and look at a, at, a, at a Pokemon for this generation, if it lists that it has a signature move in this gen, then I must use it. So that that is how I, I specify... Um, stuff for signature attacks and i think that leaf blade muddy water and blaze kick are listed <coughs> for gen 3 for the starters <laughs> they each have like 10 and let's go it is what it is okay super potion bigger magnitude so that's nice the intimidate's really cutting down on our effectiveness in this fight and the bite having a chance to flinch come on big magnitude Raticate does have two, Super Fang and Hyper Fang, so we get to pick one. My rule says that we don't have to know all the signature attacks. We get to, we get to pick one of them. And so for for Raticate, I mean, it, it's kind of a toss up. Super Fang is really good in certain scenarios, especially when you're facing Pokemon that you're not very effective against. But Hyper Fang is just a good high crit, high damage move for Super Fang or for Raticate. Yes, Persian will have Payday, which isn't horrible. It's not good. Well, then we just pick one, you know, for Zygarde when we get there. But that's not going to be until, like, Gen 6. So we got a while. Yeah, both Eradicate, you know, Tri-Attack is not a... 
isn't try attack special? What do you mean? Like use a special attack stat? I mean it does in Gen 4. Remember in Gen 3, we haven't had the type split yet. So all moves, whether they use your attack stat or your special attack stat, is based on the type of the move still in Gen 3, as it was in the previous one. So the type split doesn't happen until Gen 4. Um, so right now, try attack as a physical attack because it's a normal type attack. Too much, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's something that, you know, we, me and Krishinabon have talked about at these topics a lot, Valerie. So you're just, you're, you know, you're catching up. I don't mind re-talking about them at all. Uh, it is one of the, um, the biggest complaints that we have, uh, for the, for the first three generations. Um, because there are so many Pokemon that get so much better after the, the split. Um, and there's so many Pokemon that are just so bad before the split. Kingler is a prime example. Um, Ponita. So. Um, is another one. Because Ponita is a physical attacker, you know. Kingler is a great example, though, for being a water type that's got high physical attack. Oh, max damage magnitude on this Geo, dude. A uh, ball toy. Okay. Let's send out Sand Slash. Cloyster has to have Clamp, yes. Are you looking at the list of signature moves now? <laughs> no, absolutely not. I'm not looking at it. I haven't given you that idea. I'm looking at it. I think Icicle Spear is the signature move. In Gen 3. Isn't it? Which I don't even know if we can get Icicle Spear. If we use a Heart Scale. Um, because. Okay well Swine Up's coming out. Um, because you have to get it for. Like, through breeding or something? I don't remember. It's the same way that in Gen 3, Pikachu's signature move is Volt Tackle, but you can't get Volt Tackle on a Pichu unless you um, breed it with a, po with a Pikachu with the White Orb, I think. So I don't even know if there's a way that we're going to be able to get a Pikachu that knows Volt Tackle in this game. I would really like to, uh, but... I don't know if it's going to be a possibility. Just like, you know, we used Ho-Oh, and ho -Oh signature attack is Sacred Fire, um, but we couldn't get it to even learn Sacred Fire because it didn't learn it till set level 77, and we didn't get that high of a level. Oh, Shelter learns it in Fire Red, Leaf Green only. Oh, so we don't have to worry about um, Icicle Spear in this game for Shelter. Oh, that's a bunch of words. Oh, those are the EV moves and Let's Go. Batty, batty, bad, bouncy, bubbly, buzzly, buzz, freezy, frost. <clears throat> or you can get it by bringing it along with seal, swine up, and course light. Mm. 
But we're not, we don't do that. <coughs> All right, Schweinub. Take down that Oddish. Good damage. Very nice. Uh, we'll swap here for, uh... You know, and if that's how it happens, that's how it happens. I, I'm not gonna break the game with, or attempt to break the game with, um, cheats to try to get a poke. We're, like, we're gonna do it naturally. Mischievous will have pain split, yes. The ominous wind. Like, why? I don't know. That is what the game decided. Um, bum, 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 bum. Let's just send out... No, what's in now? Grab. No, what's in now? Dark Trio. Let me decide five times. <clears throat> Correct. Correct. No reason to go crazy if we can't learn it by level up team on Luke Tutor. Absolutely. The Magnemite is gone. Well, this Mega Drain's gonna hurt. Well, that wasn't too bad. Swine Up takes us pretty well, actually. My attack is so good on Dug Trio. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad I checked that. That is correct for a black and white. goes back to scary face. Oh. Okay. We are here now at, um, what's its place? Uh, we're in, uh, Lava Ridge. That's the, that's the name. All right. So we need to level up to 29 on four Pokemon. So in here, we want Doug Trio to take off my chops. Absolutely. <clears throat> Shouldn't take too long. We'll also take down Sploints. Uh, another question, another answer, hopefully. All right, good job. All right, no numels. No numbers. No 
Oh my gosh. They're all over. I mean, I don't really want the fights points with these Pokemon, but special defense isn't bad. We're not getting um, special attack on these Pokemon. Can you guess what move Dusk Mane Necromon places on Steel Strike with if you revert it? <coughs> I I have no idea. That is a, that is a po uh, piece of Pokemon trivia that I cannot answer. Fusion for some reason. Huh. Oh my god, all these numbles. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know. Psychic was maybe too OP. Game tried to balance it for some reason. Seismic Toss was a good move there. Schweinub! But it learns Psychic anyway, so this could be bad for Swine Up if I don't take that down. Alright, let's go heal Swine Up. Since we are using takedowns and it hurts itself. You know, we don't really... We'll take... Special attack stat on Swinub. Hooray! Well, he's got Graveler. No special attack. No special attack. No special attack. I know Clefairy learns it, which I think is pretty neat, because it's supposed to be that alien Pokemon, and it learns Meteor Mash. And if you all get to listen to me quote Aladdin every time we use Cosmic Power, Phenomenal Cosmic Power! <coughs> And the Pokeball is the little bitty, <laughs> itty bitty levy space. Hooray, everybody's 29 and we're trying to learn rollout. That's very nice. We like roll out and place off rock throw. And we have the defense curl that we can combo with it. Alright, I think it's time for a fire gem, everybody. You all ready for a fire gem? Fire gem's pretty nice. The roll out combo. That's right. We did it. We're also getting very close to our next evolution. It might happen in this episode, depending on what happens in this gem. But it is Barboach into Wishcash. <coughs> Fight me! Slagma. 
<laughs> Look at that cow roll. <laughs> oh, we didn't take it down. I guess that we should probably use Magnitude because it can do more damage. Barboach does have Rest Snore, though. Yeah, we are going to get some special attack on other Pokemon in here, though, besides Barboach. It's going to happen. Magnitude. You want to search a fire move to see what Pokemon learn it? Okay. Five billion Pokemon can learn Fire Punch. any like unique fire moves <sighs> nothing I can think of will-o-wisp who can learn will-o-wisp that's because that's a ghost one too uh, let's water gun here and then take down it remember an iggly buff learn flamethrower that's pretty interesting Remoray learns like tons of stuff like that though, because it's all about it being the pistol fish. So. Schmaug. Next fight, let's swap up Sand Slash and Gravel. Gotcha. That's a little interesting, though. Let's just tackle the Cacrion. The rest are all fire or ghost. So, I mean, that makes sense. Flamethrower on a Cacrion? Yeah, but coughing could... It, Weezing used to be able to learn Fire Blast. trainers left in here before we get to Flannery. Take down.
Shit, one of these is a trainer. Alright, so Flannery coming up shouldn't be too bad. It's not going to be easy, that's for sure. Oh, we missed the takedown. Not good. Why are you using smog? Why are you using like a fire attack? Got an ice Pokemon out there. Dunsparce is my favorite forgotten Pokemon. By far. Ha! Ha! You're funny, Krishna Bond. I would like to forget about Yanma all the time. Just like, doesn't even exist. Back off. Shiny three <laughs> segment Dunsparce. Do you like me some Dunsparce? Ah, confused baloney. Always. All right, how many times have we been hit ourselves now? How many times? Oh, oh, wow. We actually got to attack? Was not expecting that. Thought it was Onyx, gross. Ugh. You can't forget about Onyx because it's so prevalent in the anime, but for such an intimidating looking Pokemon, it's such a letdown. Schweinub! Yana's <laughs> still pretty bad, Cliff. What are we looking at? Okay, we've got plenty of experience we can get on Barboche here. clips you throw it in there has the most awesome clips I haven't even know if I watched all of those oh, I should have gave some uh, berries out might have been a good idea down on the barboach. Takes itself out with the recoil, so that's good. Slugma's coming out next. We'll just keep barboach out. Funny thing is, two of the clips are Yama versus Koga. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Bam! Get out of here. Slugma. Camera up's coming out next. Come on, Barboach. Get it, get it, fish. Times four effective. We didn't take down the Numble, though, with a single water gun. We're definitely not going to take down the camera up. But we will with two. And she didn't heal it. That just leaves one Torkoal. I almost forgot. I was like, what are we fighting next? Graveler! We're gonna get an evolution at the end of this fight. Google Dragon Dance now. 
Magnitude, big one. Uh, six is below average. Torkoal's pretty defensive, too. Oh, no. <laughs> Why does this Torkoal know a track? Why are we the opposite gender? Why does everything bad keep happening to us? Gross. Rotro. 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 <laughs> Things are looking bad, everybody. The sun is up. Okay, that's that's an average magnitude. Ooh, she's got so many healing stuff. There's body slam. You put the sun up, and then you use body slam. What's the matter with you, Flannery? Come on, Graveler. You don't love this 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 turtle. Of course, Golem is a snapping turtle. If you look at it, Golem is a snapping turtle. So it is turtle love. Turtle love. This one doesn't know Sludge Bomb. So it's already used three of its attacks. So it's Sunny Day, Attract, Body Slam, Overheat. Graveler! Yaka, praga, fra! We're going to be immobilized by love and paralyzed at this rate. <laughs> Just hit it! Oh my gosh! Why do you love this Torkoal soul? So, you just waiting for the paralysis to happen? There, are you happy? Are you happy? I'm so upset right now <laughs> with this Graveler. All right, let's swap to Sand Slash. This Graveler had it in the bag. Had it in the bag. Reminds you when you got froze by an Ice Beam turn one of the froze for seven turns before dying. That, that would completely blow. My cat is concerned about me. She came to check on me because I was getting so upset. Good job, Sand Slash. You did it. <coughs> Turtle love and poke. Oh, new clip. I'm so happy. All right, we got our catfish. That's not our final evolution. We still have two more evolutions. Gonna press a random button for the point thingy. Forgot about the snapping turtle? Yeah. We still got Graveler and the Golem. And we gotta get, you know, the, the big pig. Big hairy pig. Oh, why did I do that? All right, well, we're going to finish this episode out by reading about a Pokemon. While we talk to our rival. Let's get Wishcash up here. 
All right, so Wishcash is a dark blue catfish-like Pokemon with a yellow underbelly. It is a cavernous mouth with a light blue lips that have short, thin whiskers growing from the lower lips. Long yellow barbels grow from its cheek, and there's a yellow marking on its forehead that resembles a W. The light uh, dorsal fin has a pattern of three spots arranged in a triangle with its, uh, while its horizontal tail fin lacks spots. Its pectoral fins and belly fins match its main body color. Wishcash uses a caudral, uh, its caudral fin to cause earthquakes that can extend for over three miles by hitting the bottom of the sw of swamp beds. Wishcash can predict when natural earthquakes will occur. It also uses these massive earthquakes to drive away any foes that come near it, going on rampages in the process. This behavior, along with sightings of Wishcash's leaping from lakes, has caused people to mistake it for starting earthquakes. It lives in a nest at the bottom of ponds and swamps and is territorial over them. Um, Wishcash tends to wait silently for prey to come to it. This gluttonous fish will eat anything that is alive, sometimes whole, and has been shown in the anime to eat inanimate objects as well. Wishcash has also has a diet of consuming mud. Wishcash has poor eyesight, so it uses its whisker to detect its prey's vibrations. And our Gen 3 Pokedex information, uh, Ruby says, Wishcash is extremely territorial. Just one of these Pokemon will claim a large pond as its exclusive territory. If a foe approaches it, it thrashes about and triggers a massive earthquake. Sapphire says, if Wishcash goes on a wild rampage, it sets off Quake-like Tremor uh, with a radius of over 3 miles. This Pokemon has the ability to predict real earthquakes. Emerald says, mysteriously, it can foretell when earthquakes. It can foretell earthquakes in the daytime. Uh, it sleeps in the mud at the bottom of a pond. When it awakens, it continually feeds throughout the night. If Fire Red and Leaf Green say it makes its nest at the bottom of swamps, it will eat anything. If it is alive, uh, Wishcash will eat it. <coughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Earthquake is, uh, is an interesting move. You know, you can teach a lot of people via TM. But this is where we're going to end our episode for today. We do, do hope you all liked the episode, and we will be back tomorrow with more Pokemon. Until then, we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.